Here at Epwell Solutions, we have three great products to help maximize water production in any situation. First, we have our Water Booster. Then we have our Water Booster Pro. And finally, our Well Harvester. Each has specific functions and features to get you the water you need. Our well harvester system is for people with low producing wells. It's going to maximize your water production while protecting your well from over pumping. Then it's going to boost your water for high pressure and output. The Water Booster Pro is made for people without low producing wells. People on city water, shared wells, or from a well with adequate water, but you're needing higher pressure or higher output. This is gonna be your setup, the Water Booster Pro. Uh, a more trimmed down, budget-friendly version would be our Water Booster. So now we're gonna go ahead and talk about some of the key features of the Well Harvester. First being, the weight of this is 190 pounds, so that uh, if one person needs to move that with a hand cart, they can easily do it. Uh, if you need to lift it, you know, two people can easily lift this system. Uh, second thing would be our dimensions. We're 26 inches wide, 43 inches deep, and 73 inches tall. The key to that is the fact that this will fit through most doorways. So if you need to get it in through and into a, another room, this will do that. Uh, then our uh, total volume for water storage, this is 215 gallons. Uh, the other thing we've done is we've added an inch and a quarter threaded port here so that you can manifold this to multiple tanks if you need more water storage. Um, another thing that we've done is this is a custom engineered design with these ribs in here. It's not going to bulge as it fills up with water. Uh, other, other tanks that you might have seen, they need strapping and other support to help hold its shape. This one does that from the engineering. The other thing we've done is we've added this channel and this port so that all of our systems can be integrated nicely into that envelope. On top of the tank, we'll talk about these components now. First thing is we have a porthole here for accessing the interior of the tank. Then we have a one inch inlet here that's gonna come from the well with our back pressure sensor here. Then on this side, we have the pressurized outlet. This is your main outlet, which is another one inch PVC connection. Then here we have the optimization discharge valve. This needs to be ported outside for discharge use, being that it's pressurized. You can even have this below grade, basement, whatever. That's not gonna be a problem. As your well water enters through the system, it's gonna be flowing down into this pipe. This pipe we just pulled out of the inside of the tank to, to show you one of the key components. This is a flow reducer. The point of a flow reducer is to create back pressure in this pipe. That sensor that we looked at earlier on top is going to be giving us a pressure reading. When your water table is high, that pressure reading is going to be high. As that water table starts to drop, that pressure is also going to drop. And the nice thing about our system is it can monitor that. It's gonna pump until we find that safe level where we wanna stop at so that we don't go over pumping your well. Internally inside the tank, we're gonna have our 20 gallon a minute booster pump. It has a constant pressure valve. It comes up here, it comes here to our outlet, connected to our pressure tank with our sensor here that's gonna be displaying our pressure. We're gonna have a flush out valve here. So if you ended up ever getting some debris build up, you can flush that out here. And then we also have another pressure sensor here that's weighing the weight of the water so that the display can show how many gallons of water you have in your tank at any given moment. This is our seven inch touch screen showing uh, a bunch of information. We've got our house pressure, the back pressure, which is representing our water table at any given moment. The gallons in the tank, which is also will be showed here in a colored graph. Uh, these are indicators telling you which pump is running or what it's doing currently. We can go to our stats. Show, it'll show a graph here of water usage, which is helpful to see the changes between month to month. You know, what, what, when are you using more or less, which can be helpful. 
we can go to our control page. This is uh, to switch from off to auto for each of your pumps. We also have an optimization button there. That's something that you would push at the beginning when you go to start this system up, it's going to optimize, it's gonna pull water out of your well so we can find out where that water table is to start with, what is a safe point to stop at, and then it's gonna do seasonally, it's gonna do optimizations because your water table changes based on the weather. You know, If you get a lot of rain, a couple months later, that's gonna turn into your water table rising and vice versa. So it does need to happen um, seasonally to help keep it maximizing the amount of water we pull from your well. The other thing we have here is we have a uh, ability to change this. Let's say you bought an additional tank to begin with, you would want to hit this button. That's just going to change the quantities. So if it's full, it's going to show instead of 215 gallons with one tank, it's going to show you 430 gallons and so on and so forth. And if you decided to add a tank at a later date, you could easily change that. The only other thing that this can show is uh, error notifications. If you happen to have a uh, sensor get disconnected or some kind of failure, that error notification will come up and help us diagnose what might be the issue. For wiring on your system, the first thing you've got is a 110 plug here that powers not only the control box, but also your booster pump. The nice thing about that is anytime you might have a power outage for a period of time and you want to use this water, in your tank, you can easily connect this to any uh, generator that's producing 110 volts, um, and you can utilize pressurize out of this system with just that. The next aspect is the well pump. You're going to have a similar pressure switch like this. This junction box is what will replace this, so the wiring would connect here. The nice thing about uh, this is you could either have a 110 or 220 power and our system would be compatible with either style. Now we're going to talk about the Water Booster Pro. This is built on the same platform as the Well Harvester except that we're not going to be monitoring any well. This uh, has a mechanical float that as you use water it's going to be opening up and allowing new water to come back in. Uh, it's going to have the exact same booster pump built into it with 20 gallons a minute at high pressure to, to meet your need. Um, this would be great for if you're on city water, maybe you're at the very end of the line, maybe your uh, pipes are corroded or something that's reducing that pressure or volume. Um, uh, shared wells are an, another problem where multiple people are all using the water at the same time. Um, you could also have just your own personal well and just not have enough volume or pressure for that demand, that peak demand you might be needing. So this would be a, a, the right solution for that kind of problem. Finally, let's talk about the water booster. This is a, a similar product to the Pro. It's a trimmed down budget friendly version. Obviously you have no control panel with a screen, readout screen. Um, it has the exact same booster pump, same output level, pressure, all that. Uh, same mechanical float switch for the auto fill aspect of it. The, the main difference we're going to see here on this side. Of it. Here you can see, here's our plug-in for uh, the booster pump. It's controlled by this mechanical pressure switch along with a fail-safe float inside to make sure that there's adequate water for the pump to run. We have a pressure gauge right here so you can see what the pressure is, as well as a clean-out port so if you had some debris build up over time, that can be flushed out there. This is the same great answer to the same problems we we're talking about that the Pro answers to get good pressure and volume to your end source. It's just that this is a trimmed down, budget friendly version. Whether you're on well or city water, we have the product for you to maximize your water production, to regain your peace of mind and get the water you need. Order from us today at epwellsolutions.com.